Say her name. Say her name. All right, wait a minute. Shh. I brought Mr. Lincoln all of the broken promises. We all stop when a man was killed with a knee on his neck, narrated his own death on videotape and didn't know they were recording. But his death has been the impetus of a global movement. I bring you his brother, the brother of George Floyd, Fionis Floyd. My sister Bridget, my attorney Tony Ramanucci, my wife Keita, my sister Tanya, my nephew Brandon, your brother, your brother, your brother. Sarah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm so overwhelmed right now with everybody's here right now. I wish George were here to see this right now. That's who I'm marching for. I'm marching for George, for Brianna, for Ahmad, for Jacob, for Pamela Turner, for Michael Brown, Trayvon, and anybody else who lost their lives. Or are too evil. It's never been more clear then change right now is happening right now because we demand it. Everyone here has made a commitment because they wouldn't be here for no other reason right now. It's hot, and I know it's hot, but as of now, we here because we are being fried right now, man. I'm trying. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I got it. I got it. I got it. As of now, everybody out here right now, our leaders, they need to follow us while we're marching to enact laws to protect us. Man, I, it's hard, man. It's really hard. I'm, I'm so sorry, man. My brother George, he's looking down right now. He's thankful for everything that everybody is doing right now. Y'all showing a lot of empathy and passion, and I'm enjoying every last bit of it right now. If it weren't for y'all, I don't know where I'd be right now. 
because y'all are keeping me running. I have to advocate for everybody, man, because right now, Jacob Blake, I'm feeling it's hard just to talk right now, shot seven times, man, with his kids. That's painful. I'm Bridget Floyd, George Floyd's sister. I want you guys to ask yourself right now, how would the history books remember you? What would be your legacy? Will your future generations remember you for your com complacency, your inaction? Or would they remember you for your empathy, your leadership, your passion for weeding out the injustices and evil in our world? You know, Martin Luther King stood here 57 years ago, and he told the world his dream. But I don't think y'all know that we are here right now and have the power to make it happen. I don't think y'all hear me. But we have to do it together. We have to do it together for our generations to come, our children. My brother cannot be a voice today. We have to be that voice. We have to be the change. And we have to be his legacy. Thank you from the Floyd family.